another day, another AI uh, tool for us to use. Um, this one's called Skybox, just Google skybox.ai, take you to this page. And yeah, you can see this wonderful, uh, cool environment that's been created. Kind of works like every other text to image AI, just type in your prompt. Uh, you can use a different style, hit generate, and then yeah, this frizz use, and yeah, it will generate this image in about uh, 30 seconds. But how can we actually make this useful and use it in our workflow, etc.? So for that, let's just jump into Blender. But I'm first, I'm just going to show you the output file. Um, this 2D image. So if we jump into Blender, go over to the shading tab. We want to make sure that we're in the world settings. I've got this preloaded, so let's just delete that. So yeah, you're, you're going to want to have a environment texture. And plug that in here. Open up your downloaded file. And you're not going to be able to see anything yet. But let's jump into rendered view and then boom. Look at that. I mean, pretty great. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can do a couple of things here. If you want to control your HDRI, you can uh, add in a mapping node. Uh, let's just put the uh, texture coordinate and drop the generated in there, boom. And so yeah, here you can sort of mess around and rotate your, your HDRI, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, there's also other things you can do in terms of using this for your lighting. So if we just jump in and add a UV sphere, for some reason it's always really large. It's like a subdivision surface with control four. So we've got the sphere here, so let's make it a material. Uh, let's increase the metallic and drop down the roughness. So we've got a really reflective sphere here. So it's already looking pretty cool. But yeah, if we don't want um, our HDRI to show in our scene, so we go down to render properties, go down to film and make sure it's transparent. So that means the background will render out as a, an alpha uh, and it won't show. So yeah, that's that's basically it, guys. You can have pretty loads of fun um, creating different environments, and that's how you do it in Blender.